With the creation of music being a collaborative effort, it's rare that we often see an artist and their producer have such chemistry to the point where they become inseparable. Now, just like Drake and 40 or even Nas and Hip Boy, Aries and Mash Beats are two individuals who manage to take the SA hip hop scene by storm, not because of their individual talents, but because they took their skills and developed the chemistry with each other that was incomparable to anyone else in the game. Now, Aries and Mash Beats had a close working relationship that spans several years where Reese is a songwriter who is known for his lyrical prowess and introspective storytelling and Mash while he's a producer who has collaborated with the boy on multiple projects the two artists first crossed paths when A. Reese was signed to Ambitious Entertainment and Mash Beats was working as one of the label's in-house producers their collaboration on A. Reese's debut album Paradise in 2016 marked the beginning of a creative partnership that has continued to evolve over the years mash beats production style characterized by melodic instrumentals and intricate beats complements a reese's lyrical content resulting in a cohesive and distinctive sound together they have released several successful projects including reese's sophomore album from me to you and only you and other projects including thanks for nothing fire in the water reese effect and today's tragedy tomorrow's memory now their partnership extends beyond music as they have often expressed mutual respect and admiration for each other's creative abilities both a reese and mash beats have played significant roles in shaping the sound of sa hip-hop and have garnered a dedicated fan base overall a reese and mash beats share a strong musical bond that has yielded impactful and resonant music establishing them as influential figures in the SA music scene now because of all of that it came as a surprise when it was alleged that the two had fallen out with each other and they were no longer working together now the actual reasons for the fallout still remain a mystery but MASH they claim that conversations about money or residuals were not had and when his mother passed on he felt as if his closest friends didn't truly hold him down and he made the decision to leave and finally focus on himself you know uh you know when when you when you when you're working you expect like yeah and i just feel like we didn't have those type of conversations uh prop you know and any chance that was presented for us to have those conversations it, they just didn't happen you understand so you know i went through so then y'all were just grinding it out we were grinding we, yeah we were grinding for real for real not even looking at all that that other shit and my yeah my thing was you know i'm i'm here i'm 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 gonna be taken care of as long as i'm doing my shit you know and 2020 i went through like the darkest times um especially when covid hit like a week after covid hit i i went through the roughest shit where it's like i lost my mom dang you understand dang yeah dang and for me that was that's when i think every the reality check yeah like hey Okay, how do you do? How do you handle this situation emotionally? You know, uh, whichever way, like psychologically, financially, how do you deal with this? And you know, I just um, felt like I felt like I, I was so alone during that that time you in, didn't feel like yeah uh, in, in, you got the support you needed at yeah, that time yeah Om, almost in almost in every aspect you know and this is uh a nigga that I, I love i love for real for real and i'm not here trying to you know yeah but but that's how i feel you know that's how uh, the, the stuff happened with me and Ever since then, I just wanted to to do my own thing, man, and, and just be in my own spot. Because at that time, we were also s- supposed to be close. We were, we were in, living in the same place. 
so shit was easy to say. You know, but things happen how they happen. I, I just eventually wanted to do me, you know, on the highest level. Invite who I want to invite, work with who I want to work with. Yeah. You know, like, just be me. Now with the two splitting from each other, a lot of fans were concerned about whether Mash would be able to make it out on his own and develop a sustainable solo career without a Reese and other concerns related to Reese not achieving the same success he had whilst he was still with Mash. Now at the time they were still together, they were considered to be the best rapper and producer duo the country had seen and that speaks to their level of chemistry and work ethic. Now before the splits happened, Reese had been teasing his highly anticipated album Paradise 2 and a big contributor to that project was said to be Mash Beats. Now a few months after the split or I guess a year later today's tragedy tomorrow's memory had just dropped and a lot of fans came up with their own theory and speculated that it was actually supposed to be the original Paradise 2 but because of their fallout Reese changed the name of the project completely and dropped it as a mixtape. Now Reese did come out and clarify that today's tragedy tomorrow's memory is a mixtape and that he had started working on Paradise 2 at the beginning of 2020 and with him having the fallout with mash any work they did for the album prior to their split had to be scrapped according to reese yeah, how was the process the process was crazy because it started already in 2020 and everything had to be like scrapped i had to start over because the pandemic you know i just wasn't in the right space at the time and the loss of my father as well affected me so I, like i couldn't work as efficiently as i wanted to so I just had to like, you know, sit back, recollect myself and get back into it. And when I started doing projects with my uh, older brother, Jay Jody, it got me back in the zone. And then, you know, we're here now. Now with Reese always reiterating that if he's got MASH then he's covered, well then it's no surprise that he considered himself and MASH as the formula when it came to making a masterpiece, but with their relationship taking a sideways turn, who could Reese turn to to create the beautiful music he once made with MASH? While at one point we saw him work alongside with Iceman Beats for Heaven Can Wait, which he did with Jay Jody, and they definitely had chemistry together on that project, but unfortunately their relationship didn't prosper into the rap and producer duo we saw that he had with mash another contender was logical rhymes who was an in-house producer for some of the members at twc but not even that relationship produced anything fruitful so which producer would reese recruit to be the mastermind and architect behind his highly anticipated album while well, one unexpected name was michael tui and not much is known about him other than the fact that he worked closely with elohim and elize and the joint project he dropped alongside with elohim titled with or without i guess kind of put him out there as a producer to be on the lookout for now he had previously worked with reese and twc on their record less friends more bands which i'm assuming formed their relationship but over these past two years we've seen them work a lot more closer with him getting producer credits on projects like the burning tree and deadlines free paradise 2 i guess it was a case of them figuring out the chemistry they were trying to develop i mean in preparation for paradise 2 they gave us tracks like bellator bad guy and achilles and going based off that i think it was a no-brainer for reese to entrust michael as his go-to producer for his album now the bulk of the tracks on paradise 2 were handled by michael and it's clear that reese had finally found the formula he once had with mash because there's no denying that paradise 2 is a masterpiece and will go down as one of reese's best bodies of work if not his actual best